The slice method in JavaScript lets you use negative numbers to specify where you start or end the slice. This can be useful when you want to reference something starting from the end of the array, such as removing the last couple of elements in the array, or slicing to just get the last couple elements in array. So if you've worked with the JavaScript slice operator before, you'll know that it goes and creates a new array by taking a subset of an existing array. So here we have an array that I've defined, just going for the letters A through F here. And if we wanted to go and remove the first two elements of this array and get back a new array, we could call slice on it. Now the first argument to slice specifies where the slice is going to start. So if you want to remove the first two elements, we'd pass in two here. And you'll see that the result that we get back has the first two elements of the array here removed. Now the important thing about slice is that it is not modifying the original array. It is returning a new array, in this case with the first two elements removed. And again, the argument that we're passing in here is specifying the start position where we're going to start taking elements for the new array. So we go one, two, and this is our new array that we are now going and creating. One very useful trick with slice though is that you can actually use negative numbers when specifying where the slice is going to start or end. And when you pass in a negative number, instead of indexing from the start of the array, it is going to index backwards from the end of the array. Let's take a look at this in action. So let's say that we wanted to create a new array with just the last two elements of the array that we've defined up here. Now we could go and try to compute the range that we want to slice in using the array length and all of that, but a much simpler approach is to use a negative index here. So when we're specifying the start, we're gonna pass in negative two. Now, when you pass in a negative number for the index, and again, we're passing in the index where the slice should start, instead of starting from the uh, start of the array up here, we're going to start counting backwards from the end of the array. So starting at the end of the array, we're gonna go backwards in this case, one, two, and this is now the starting slice position. And then the slice is gonna go, go forward and take the remaining elements in the array, which you can see in this case are EF. And sure enough, the resulting array that we get down here results in EF as well. What's very nice about this approach is that I don't have to go and compute the index myself. So I don't have to check the array length. I can just say, hey, I want the last two elements of the array. So I pass in negative two. If I wanted the last three, I could pass in negative three. And you can see that it's now counting backwards three times here. So going one, two, three, and then taking the resulting array here. So that's using negative numbers for specifying where the slice is going to start, but you can also use negative numbers to specify where the slice is going to end. So let's say that we wanted to create a new array that has the first and last elements removed from our original array up here. So to do that, our array slice is going to start at one, which means that we're going to start our arrays uh, just by going one forward from the start of the array, because we have a positive one here. Then for the second argument to slice, we're going to specify the index where the slice should stop. Now this could be a positive number. So for example, we could pass in three here, which means that our slice would stop at index three. And because this is a positive number, we're going to start at the start of the array to determine where to stop. So we go one, two, three, and you can see that we're now slicing between position one and three here in the array, getting back an array that has the elements B and C in it. However, we can also use a negative index to specify where this slice should stop. So if we wanted to go and uh, remove the last element of the array or make this slice stop before the last element of the array, all we have to do is pass in negative one here. Now, what is happening in this case is that again, for the first argument, we have specified that the slice is going to start at index one. So we're counting forward by one. So this is where the slice is going to start. But then for the second argument, which is specifying where the slice is going to end, we are passing in a negative number, which means we're going to count from the end of the array backwards. In this case, we're going to go backwards by one here. And you can see that the resulting array has these four elements in it. So B, C, D, E. Now, if I was wanting to remove just the last two elements of the array, I could do that by going and passing in zero as the start index of the slice. So that's going to mean that the slice starts immediately from the start of the array here and then negative two for the end of the slice. So again, we're passing in negative two. So we're going to go backwards two from the end of the array. So one, two, and you can see that sure enough, our array has A, B, C, D, has those four elements in it. Again, we're just passing in zero to make sure that we always start at the start of the array. You can mix and match using positive and negative numbers for both the start and end arguments to slice. If you wanted to, you can even use two negative numbers, which means that both indexes are going to be computed from the end of the array. For example, if we call slice with negative four as the first argument, that is going to specify that the slice starts at four elements from the end of the array. So up here, we go backwards by four, one, two, three, four. So our slice is going to start uh, right here at C. And then for the end index, we could specify something like negative one, which means that our slice is going to end one, um, one index back from the end of the array here. So we go backwards by one here, and you can see that our resulting slice has these three elements in it. Using these two negative numbers in this case means that we're always counting backwards from the end of the array when determining the indexes to slice from. Just like when slicing with positive numbers as well, if you specify a start that is greater than the end, 
it means that you're going to get back an empty array. So if I specified, let's go and swap these two numbers here. So I'll say negative one and then negative four. This means that we're going to try to start the slice here. So going backwards by one, and then we're going to try to end the slice up here, but the slice is always going forward. So it does not actually include any elements. Instead, you just get back an empty array because the slice resulted in zero elements. Using negative numbers for either the start or end index in slice can be really convenient. I find myself using it most often when I'm wanting to get the last elements in an array. So for example, here using uh, it as the start index and going backwards from the end of the array to get the last two elements in this example, or if I'm wanting to go and remove the last two elements in an array, I would do something like zero and then negative two. And you can see that we are now removing everything uh, or removing the last two elements in that array without ever having to go and check the array length. So that's a quick look at how you can use negative numbers to specify the start or end of a slice call in JavaScript.